What's up, G here. Welcome to my channel. On today's video, we're going to talk about how to purchase your first rental property in 2021. Now, if you're new to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. We talk about real estate investing, personal financing, and investing as a whole. So go ahead and please subscribe. And also, please go ahead and smash that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm. I don't know why I said it like that but we're gonna go with it. Purchasing your first rental property is not going to be easy. Like myself, I was in the market last year to purchase my first rental property and it took me almost a year. But if you have the correct information, you can shorten that time span. The first thing that you are going to need to do is basically figure out what you want to do as far as like the property, what type of property you want to purchase. Do you want to purchase a single family home? Do you want to purchase a condo? Do you want to purchase an apartment? Or do you want a house hack, meaning that you have someone living on the property as far as you buying a, a duplex, a triplex, and a fourplex? Keep in mind with FHA, they only let you go up until a fourplex. After that, it's considered a commercial property. I would recommend that you house hack if you were just starting purchasing your first property of course i always recommend i would recommend that you house hack because it'll give you the leverage to purchase more property you can duplicate that process and you have more money free up for you to save the second thing that you are going to need to do is basically find a good realtor slash broker some realtors are brokers basically they know their numbers they know how the numbers is going to work for you so i would recommend finding a good realtor and just don't settle like you can sit down with different realtors to make sure that they know their stuff because some some realtors really don't know like the rules they don't know like their their stuff as far as like investing so i would recommend that you sit with different realtors and make sure you have the correct fit because that's really really important and don't listen to any realtor that's gonna always tell you that you can't do this you can't do that you can't do that don't listen to that look for a realtor that's gonna work with you that's gonna keep you motivated also because like i said the process is not going to be easy you have to have patience to find that rental properties that's gonna fit you so the documents that you are going to need first you're going to need a color copy of your driver's license second you're going to need your social security card you're going to need your last two years w2 coupon from your employer you're going to need your last two years complete tax return all scheduled now if you are self-employed and you have a corporation you're going to need your corp and you're going to need all the schedules also you are going to need two current paycheck statement you're going to need two months bank statement or where the money is coming from like you can use like your parents at, for it to say as a gift they can give you a gift you can use a close uh, family member like a brother or sister so yeah you're just going to need those documents then after you get those documents then based on your income and your credit they're going to give you an approval letter then after that you can start searching for your rental property for myself the area i was looking was really important because i was going to stay in there i'm house hacking so the the area was really important to me and also i was looking for mixed areas where they have residential properties and they have rental properties so i, I like those mixed areas now when you find the rental property that you like tell your realtor you put in the offer and don't be scared to ask for closing costs i see closing costs and don't forget to save some money for the inspection and the appraisal with the appraisal sometimes the real estate company will pay for that so ask yes yeah, so after you you have all that information you should be closing in on your first rental property like i said it's important to have a good team around you that's going to know the rules that's going to do things by the book and that that knows the in and out as far as for you to purchase your first rental property like myself i finally purchased my first rental property last year at the end of december i was able to house hack a four unit property where basically my mortgage is paid for and a couple of the bills so yeah guys uh this video add any value to you please don't forget to subscribe and don't say that you are going to purchase a rental property and you're not doing anything i see you sitting on the couch you sitting on the couch anyways man just get up you said tomorrow, maybe tomorrow you're gonna purchase it. If not today, then the next day. Come on, man, you could do it. 
you could purchase your first rental property i sound like this, the old devry commercial but still guys like i said the first one is not going to be the easiest but it is worth it for you to just get your feet wet and for you to just show yourself that you can do it and you can do it comment down below if you're looking for your first rental property if you have any questions comment down below i really appreciate it don't forget to like and smash the like button don't just like it just smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. As always, please be safe, be healthy, peace be with you.